guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Catherine and I make videos about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. Today I'm doing a vlog for you guys about sewing. I was a pattern tester for Yanni and Mama's nursing dress. I ended up making some tweaks to it to kind of fit my body and my style a little bit better. The whole process took me a little over a week and I also included a little bit of like clips of my life. I went into New York City because I work in the city. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna put my pattern together and I don't know which fabric to use. I have this knit fabric and then I have this stripe fabric that's kind of like a rayon. I feel like this dress is gonna look better in a knit. It also might look better with vertical stripes. So I'm just, I'm not decided yet. What I'm gonna do is put together the pattern and see like what it looks like, see how oversized it is. It's kind of like a trapeze type of look. I don't want it to have too much volume. I would rather have it be like drapey and the other people who are testing the pattern that are posting photos, a lot of them are doing knits and it looks really nice with the knits. So I'm tempted to go with the knit, but I'm gonna put together the pattern and see what I think. Hey, good morning. So it's the next day. I tried vlogging yesterday, but I kind of got off the rails because I just had too much to do. But I got a chance to look at the pattern and read through all the instructions. I'm gonna do the medium length dress and I'm gonna do um, the knit. And I'm gonna do some pleating, or not pleating, I'm gonna gather it on the neckline instead of doing the pleat. All right, so I cut out the paper and now I'm going to cut out my fabric. I upcycled this with a marigold dye and it was an old sheet, so. Okay, so I have all my pieces cut out and I also took in uh, some of the flare on the side because I didn't have enough fabric. I thought I had so much fabric, but um, I didn't. So that's fine. I don't really want my dress to be super big and flowy anyway. I feel like right now when I wear stuff like that, it just makes me look even bigger than I am. And I'm trying to pick flattering things. So this is um, gonna be probably a more flattering cut for me anyway. So I think that's fine. One of the things I love so much about sewing my own clothes is that I can tweak things according to my style and my body. And the more I sew, the better I get at doing this. If you haven't already, I'm going to ask you to hit the thumbs up button. It's free and easy for you to do and it helps my channel so much. So thank you so much. I decided to taper the binding just to give it kind of a refined look and I am doing the gathered version of the neckline, like I said. This pattern has a lot of variations and is really super versatile. Okay, I'm headed into the city now to go to the office. All right, I just got off work. Let's go get some tea. Okay, I got an iced coffee with milk foam which is really good with some pudding. Now we're going to Hudson Yards and um, the High Line. There it is. These are good. Okay now we're on the High Line so we're just gonna walk along the High Line all the way down probably to the Whitney. The High Line is technically a park in Manhattan on the west side and it used to be an old railroad track. It goes from 34th Street at Hudson Yards all the way down to the village and um, it ends at the Whitney which is a museum, an art museum in New York City. It's a great place to go for people watching and to see classical architecture and really new architecture. So we ended up getting off at Greenwich Village and then heading back to Jersey. Hey, good morning. It's the next day. 
So we ended up going home last night and I was just so tired I couldn't do any sewing. I forgot to cut out the knit neck band, okay? So I need two of these. No, I just need one, sorry. That needs to be cut on a fold. So luckily I have some scraps and now I'm just going to quickly cut out the neck and then sew it up. I don't think it's gonna take a long time after I get all that done, so. Okay, what I did was I, I stay stitched the facing to the back. So this is for the front, which you definitely need, to, I definitely need the facing for. Um, so here's the front so far. And then you have the side entry here. So we'll figure out the armholes. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But uh, whatever, I'll figure it out. I'll probably have to cut a new binding. Luckily for me, I didn't throw away any of my scraps. I just kept them in a pile so that I could make a new neck binding, which is something I always like to do. So I'm going to serge it on my brother's serger, which is linked down below and a great little serger if you're looking for a great serger. And then I'm going to clip it onto my neckline a little bit at a time putting the seams together first and then going in between all of the seams. Okay, so I have put it on the form just to kind of get an idea. I don't know if I did something wrong or what, but here the armhole, it's quite large. So I am going to um, kind of take it in by bringing the back forward. And then um, I am matching up the pockets based on the notches that were on the pattern. I'm gonna just literally serge this here and make it like straight. It's not matching up, obviously. I think it's still gonna look fine. Here is, here's what it looks like in the front. The back is cute. I wasn't sure about this fabric, but the more I'm working with it, the more I realize I like it. So, yay. I cut some more binding from my scraps for the armholes and I'm just going to give them a little press and then clip them on before I sew up the armholes. So you can see here, I have not sewn up the side seams yet and that's a good way to do it. So there it is, it's looking much better and then I can sew it up and pin it first from the armhole to the pocket just to make sure that's looking good and then pin up my pocket and sew the whole thing up from armhole to hem. I also made the belt, which here is inside out and needs to be turned out with a safety pin. So here it is on the form and it looks good on the form and now I'm going to do my initial fitting on me. So my first thoughts was it looked a little too big for me and I think that the neckline was too high and that the dress was actually just too long for me all right so i thought about it and i think i'm going to take the neckline down just a little bit on this one so what i'm going to do is probably baste along this line here and then cut it and make a new binding I'm thinking I might make this a little shorter and kind of make it almost like a 90 so I can get some new binding from the bottom. I don't have any more fabric. I used all of it up. So that's my next plan to kind of make it a little bit more me, but I think it's a cute pattern overall. I'm just going to do a few little tweaks. So here's a close up of the stay stitching I did. And I did this before I cut it so that it was stable. And here it is after I cut it and I put it on the form just to make sure it looked okay and that the gathers weren't totally messed up. So they look good. And then I decided I was going to take three inches off of the bottom, which is pretty aggressive, but I wanted to have enough for the facing. All right, so I widened the neckline. I actually had to do it twice because I sewed it on backwards the first time. 
classic. Um, and I did it in the back too, and then I shortened it about three inches on the bottom. So now it's kind of like a little bit more of a baby doll. Right, so here it is, it's done. Uh, it doesn't fit me perfectly because I'm still really pregnant, but I think that I would probably make it a size smaller if I were to do it again and maybe even take these in more. But overall, it's very comfy and easy to wear. I shortened it a bit, which is great. And I really like this neckline a little bit more open. So all done. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. You can go and follow me on my social medias for more inspiration at Onyx Art Studios and check out my online dyeing workshops at onyxartstudios.com. If you like this video, be sure to check out these other videos. I have tons of videos on my channel about dyeing, sewing, and upcycling. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It does wonders for my channel and helps others to find it as well. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.